Christian, eh? No one's listening All to you. All Muslims love Isa Ibn Maryam. Okay. All Muslims. Oh, Muslim. hell, Jesus. And you not love Allah. You not love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why you problem for Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Why? We got a preacher, Muslim Only preacher one here. God. Muslim, Only one God. Only one God. Uh, okay, man. I'm Allah. good, man. I'm, good give them. I'm a cool guy, man. Allah. <laughs> Moses, David. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, God bless you, man. God bless you. I'm glad you believe in one God. Keep it up. Keep it up. You want you want some attention, brother? You want attention? Yeah. God bless you, man. Thank you. Well, this is awesome, man. God bless you guys. Well, first of all, last week um, I came here my first time in Speaker's Corner, and the first time I made some very clear videos of why I'm here to preach the gospel. It's very clear on YouTube. And as I came, I was surrounded by a big crowd, just like I'm being surrounded now and I didn't even really talk. The funny thing is, the moment I left, I saw all these propaganda videos, which is all right, because propaganda, they say, bad press is always good press. Amen. So thank Thanks be to God that the entire world heard my preaching through the Muslims and through the Christians. Praise God. First and foremost, I don't hate Muslim people. You got to know that. Why don't I hate Muslim people? Because I don't hate people. Every single time I preach, I usually always start off my preaching by saying, for God so loved the world. Amen. So I don't know how anyone logically, I've seen so many views on the Islamic channels calling me an international hate preacher. Yeah. This is bogus, man. And the, and the sad thing about it, Muslims have been coming on my channel saying, oh, you're this, swearing, and saying you're this and that. The character of many of these Muslims, not everybody, I don't know your character. Oh, so I can tape you. Yeah, so everything I do is tape. I'm not a hate preacher. Yeah, I can see it from the camera. We love Muslims. God bless preacher. <laughs> Now, I, you know what I notice? This is what I notice. One of the accusations that people made towards me is that I'm funded by Zionist Jews. I'm going to answer that. What is your obsession? If you're a Muslim today, what's your obsession with Zionist Jews or Jews? Like, why don't I, why couldn't you accuse the Chinese? They have a lot of money too. What about the Koreans or the white man? Why don't you blame the white man or the queen herself? who runs England and has the British pound, why don't you blame her for funding me? Listen, first of all, I'm here on my own pocket, number one. Number two, as you can see, my resources aren't even close to what I see with the Muslims handing out with some very professional books and stuff like that. You wanna see what my books are? These are my bags. This is what I got to hand out, some chick tracks. Hallelujah. Yeah, you have to put it up for me. I got something here that says, the fool. Because the Bible says, the fool has said in their heart, there is no God. I got a few little New Testament Bibles. I only got a little pocket handbag. Okay? So if that's funding from Zionist Jews, man, I, 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 man, I, I'm probably not on their good side. <laughs> you know, Hook me up! <laughs> I'm not getting much money. That's not problem. getting so much money from the Zionist Jews if I'm supported by Zionist Jews. Uh, I'm a Christian. No, I'm just answering some critiques some people said. So, for the record, I'm at Speaker's are Corner you, again. Are you oh. looking for much money in your church? No. Nah, the best man. thing, my advice, is to put a cash machine there. Put a cash machine yeah. in the church. You know, or some, some, some zakat boxes. Idea, you get I'm a lot of money. That, I'm, not like that, I'm not gonna do that. So, to answer some questions, first of all, I don't hate any individual. Okay? For the record, okay, the guy that made this story about me being an international hate preacher i schooled him about two to three times in a public debate on the streets of toronto and i don't even remember his name in fact sadat, sadat. sadat. now sadat the american yeah, he's yeah i know him. he's from my city i don't know if he traveled he's a black guy no he's a pakistani looking guy i don't even know what race he is because i don't even know him personally he doesn't know me personally i just know him from the streets okay School him a couple times. He doesn't come by our Islam, uh, our Christian booth anymore. 
So as soon as he saw me, I was shocked. As, it was actually, as soon as I saw him, I was shocked. I'm like, you following me, man? It's like, did you know that I came to UK and then you're going to take a flight? I, I don't know where he's getting his money. Now, I can start a propaganda and say that maybe he's being funded by, by Islamic terrorist groups. And that's why he got money to follow me to Speaker's Corner. Now, now, now that's all propaganda. I'm not going to call him an international hate preacher, even though he does speak very much against Christianity, very much against Christian theology. And if speaking against something means that you're a hate preacher, then he's definitely a hate preacher. In fact, I think everybody in this place is a hate preacher because the Jews speaking against uh, Christianity, the Christians are speaking against Muslims, the Muslims are speaking against Islam. So everybody here is a hate preacher. So welcome to the club, guys. That's not, that's, that's not called hate. I know, that's not called hate. You know what I call hate? It, is when, is when you always make derogatory terms towards Jews, like, oh, they're dogs, they're scums. I hear this a lot from many Muslims, not all. Yeah, but Jesus called the people dogs then. I know. The way they're picking it up. You're right, you're right. He did call them dogs. You're right. I'm not denying that. There's a difference between Jew and Zionist, isn't it? Yeah, there is a difference between so Jew and Zionist. So, for the record, I'm not a Zionist, okay? I'm a Christian, okay? I don't support... Orthodox Judaism, I don't support Reform Judaism, Lubavitch Judaism, uh, whatever kind of Judaism there is, I don't support it. Why? Because it's not the true Judaism. The true Judaism is Christianity. Amen. That's the true Judaism. Okay? Number one, not a hate preacher. I love Maybe the If something Christian were to happen to you, brother, Judaism. I'll be the first to try to help you, resuscitate you, give you some food. I don't care whether you're Muslim, Hindu, Jew, or whatever you are. So that clears the record. So for all those Muslims that are watching, I man, you, you want to talk with me, bro? Okay, hold on. You like my wife? I've been eating all day. Yeah, but you haven't eaten all day. Yeah, you got, you got to buy some food, man. Okay, you're talking about this. Spiritual food. You want one? Okay, 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 okay. I see now. I see now. Okay, so that's clearing up one thing. Number one. Number two. If you actually watch the Islamic propaganda videos, they're saying I ran away like a chicken. And I was here for about five hours you, trying to preach. Can you tell us who hey, are come you? Come on, dude. I don't know who are you. My name's David. Okay. I'm just a guy you, from Canada. If you introduce yourself, no, why don't you tell me about you? What's your name? Yeah, my, my name's Omar. So, Omar, where are you from? I'm from uh, Africa. Africa? Where in Africa? Uh, in West Africa. West Africa? Africa. Where? Yeah. Ivory Coast? You love Jesus? Uh, yeah. You love God? Yeah, I do. You're a Jew or a Christian Muslim? I am Muslim. Okay, wonderful. How's that going for you? It's going well. Okay. Good for you, man. Yeah. All right, you, you, you done? So, so we know you now. You know me, yeah. I know you. Yeah, we will check, we, cool? we will check you on YouTube now. You cool? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let me finish, Omar. Please. All right. So I'm not a Zionist. Somebody turn to their neighbor and say, I'm not a Zionist. All right. Not a Jew. All right. I don't hate you. Okay, I don't hate you. FYI, I'm going to say this so loud and clear. And please make a, a propaganda video and catch these uh, sound bites. I don't hate you. And please don't edit the don't and say I hate you. Right. I don't hate you. All right. I don't agree with Islamic theology. Muslims don't agree with Christian theology. So what? Okay. If you're going to say that I'm a hate preacher because I speak very publicly about my thoughts and beliefs about Islam, then what does that mean about Muslims and the very Quran itself? Now some people say, well, the Quran is fine. Yeah, but if you put it in the perspective of a Christian, the Quran is hate literature towards Christian, if you want to label it like that. No, no, no. Man, I'm just using the same logic. Okay, if you want me to use the same logic that the Islamic propaganda videos use towards me, then the Quran, in their definition... I know, man. I'm, I'm reasonable. Okay, so number one, I don't hate you. Number two, I'm not funded by Zionist Jews. Now, here's what happened. Two years ago, three years ago, I was being bullied off of the streets of Toronto, not being allowed to preach the Word of God. Okay? So, Sun News, which is a newspaper, it's not a Jewish newspaper, it's a conservative newspaper. They like standing up for people that are conservative, like Christians that have conservative beliefs. They found out that I was being bullied off the corner. They assigned this Jewish guy to my case. He did a case. He hired a lawyer. And I got the charges dropped. So this is my, 
apparent connection to Zionist Jews. A newspaper helped me out. The guy just happened to be a Jew. And all of a sudden, for the rest of my life, now I'm a, apparently, I'm, a, I'm associated with Zionist Jews. Come on, guys. I've been in so many newspapers in the world for what I preach. Okay, so that's clearing it up. So please tell your neighbor, tell SC Dawa, FEF, all those kind of EDF and all those uh, propaganda <laughs> videos or places that they're lying and liars come from the devil. If my first day coming here, when I made it publicly clear, hold on, I made it public, <laughs> no, okay, okay, Pub I made it publicly clear in my videos why I'm here and why I came, publicly clear, it's on video, and if I got proof for that, and there is proof for that, it's online, how in the world can Muslims still say, I ran away like a chicken and I'm afraid to debate? Are you willing, can I ask, you still take me up on you? it? Who are you? I'm a nobody. I'm a nobody. Okay. But will you let me discuss with you? Sure. I'm a Muslim. Okay, hold on, hold on. Sir. That's what I am. Hold Is on. Is that all right? I'm hey, man, I don't, I don't, I don't, look, I'm not afraid of you. I don't even know you. Now, here, here's the thing. Do you need to be afraid of me? No, no. Just listen to me for a second. I will listen, but will we have a discussion? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Last week was yes. Now it's maybe next week is no. I don't even know you. When did it I even see? It doesn't matter. You said yes. Okay. So are you going to keep interrupting me? I'm a nobody, me? but no. you accepted to have what? a discussion okay. with me. Mr. What's your celebrity. name? What's your name, Mr. My name Nobody? is Muhammad, Mr. Celebrity. Muhammad. Nice to meet Muhammad. you, sir. Muhammad. Are you happy to have Muhammad. that discussion with Muhammad. me? You're later? cocky. I am a and bit. And you're rude. Because you came across no. as a bit obnoxious. Now listen, That's why. are you gonna let and me? It's my automatic reaction with you, sir. Are you That's gonna allow? Go are you gonna allow me to even clear up some stuff? Can, okay, go then let me speak. Go for it, sir. Go for it. Don't surround me in like this, okay? First of all, first of all, I cleared up. I'm not an international hate preacher. Will the Muslims here admit that I'm not an international hate preacher? Will you admit it? Or are you going to still carry on, on the propaganda video. lies? Video. I am on video. Okay. Okay. So, wait, this. What does that mean? Preaching hate. What does that mean? Are all I'm on. What? Are I all said mo all Muslims Muslim? are terrorists? Yes. When did he say that? Please, please find a video Where's where I said proof, that. Man? Show me that video. Proof, I said all Muslims are murderers? Are you serious? I think, I think he. Hold, no, 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 don't interrupt me, man. I think, I think in order to, hold on. In order to prove that you're on that hate preacher, you have no, to clear no. up some misconceptions. No, no, I'm, I'm clearing up my own misconceptions yeah, that I heard. I don't know if you're yeah, but, 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 bro, let, let, me, let me finish you know, what I got to say. No problem. Okay? First of all, last week, I made it very clear, it's on record, why I came here, even before, from the morning, in the afternoon, even before I stepped foot in here. And also, when I walked around, I made it very clear. So, number one. All those Muslim videos, why aren't you recording this, sir? Why aren't you recording this? Ago, you don't want this on record? The, the battery is there. The no, no, I want to No, I never said, I said the, ba the battery is there. Uh, and I will. They take, take it off camera, right? Or you, your yeah, battery is dead at the right time. I'll discuss with you, it'll be uploaded on my channel. It's called no Guidance problem. Avenue. Yes, okay. absolutely. Now, number one, I'm you not a hate proof? preacher. Okay. Make that clear. I already made it clear. So, hello, Muslims. David loves you. So you don't, you don't hate Islam. God loves you. You don't want to know about Islam? Yeah. I don't agree with any, listen, listen, any philosophy that sends people to hell, I don't agree with Amen. at all. Okay. Well, let me at all. Let me stop you there. Not at all. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. And I think it's... I, let me stop you there. Ahead. You understand? So you're a Christian. I'm a non-Muslim. I'm, I'm a non-Christian. I don't believe in Christianity. I believe that Christian, anyone who believes that Jesus, God yeah. has a son, he's going to hellfire. Sure. Yeah? You do. So you as a Christian and me as a Muslim, I believe in one God. I believe that all the messengers of God. And I accept Muhammad is the last of Salam Allah God, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Am I going to the hellfire according to your belief? Yeah, I think you're going to hellfire. Yeah, you don't, so you don't you believe about? in Jesus Christ. What are you talking about then? What, you, what do you mean, what am I talking about? Just, because I believe said, you're going to hell? You just said, that makes me a hate preacher? You just said, yeah. Are you serious? Am I, am I here no, are, you, are you serious? So, okay, so I'm going to hell. You, you, you think I'm committing shirk, right? Yeah, you're committing shirk. And, shirk, and, shirk, and, shirk, and shirk, does God forgive shirks? Yeah. Yeah. No. Not if you die upon it. Okay, listen, not if I die upon it. You can repent for it now, David. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know my name a little too much, man. You're scaring me, brother. Listen. Yeah. Okay, look, if I'm going to hell because I believe Jesus Christ is God or the Son of God, right? Does that make you a hate preacher? Does that make you a hate preacher? No. So because I said you're going to hell if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, that makes me a hate preacher? No, I thought, I think I misunderstood what he said. I think, I think you said, I think, no, you can't I think you said, like, yo, him, David, him, him, Christian. Now David, yeah, look, yeah. David, look, I think okay, I misunderstood what he said. Christians, David, yeah, I think that means I'm not even afraid of Christians. <laughs> I don't even want to talk to Christians yeah. right now. David, yeah. David, I I, 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 I actually, I want to, look, okay, let me clear, clear some yeah, stuff yeah, up and you can ask me those things, okay? Yeah, 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 okay, number one, I'm going to just, let me just finish my speech. I'm not a hate preacher. 
because I don't hate nobody, no individual. Okay, yes. I don't need the, 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 the choir backing me up, okay? This, this is a solo song, solo song. So number one, I didn't engage last week in Christian debates and I didn't engage in Muslim debates. I was forced over and over and over, interrupted over and over, hijacked over and over and over throughout my entire speech. Then even at the end, I finally, I'm like, yo, you're still interrupting me, dude. You guys still interrupt. Apparently, this is one of y'all guys' speaker corner dudes. All right. First of all, I don't know you guys. I don't sit around. Listen to me. Listen to me very clearly. This street preacher has no time to watch speaker corner preachers. I don't watch you people. I, you know, I heard about this place. I don't even like the fact that they put all the religious people in a park. I think that's degrading. Whoever is, is trying to make a place is anyone forced to come here to the park? Free rule, right? <laughs> Man, I don't care. Listen, my point is... Okay, uh, you, you want to pick a fight on nonsense. I'm a nobody, dude. Come on, man. The nobody Listen, guys, I don't accepted know a discussion from you. Will you still discuss with me? First of all, I, listen to me. I want to finish. I'm listening. Okay. Go for it. This guy, this guy thinks... Either he thinks I'm afraid to talk to him, which I'm not. Don't know this dude. Right. That, that is an assumption number it's one. It's an assumption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second, uh, second listen assumption. to me. It's assumption number Everybody one. Listen to the assumptions. Okay, we got the choir, Muslim choir, backing me up, it's man. About choir with you. Even worthy to be in my choir. Karen, sing it, sing it, sing the Lord. Okay, Go thank on. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Okay, so we got the Muslim choir backing me up when I didn't ask him for his two cents. Listen, last week, because I didn't want to talk to certain individuals, because my purpose was to preach the word, and one person actually did give their life to the Lord. I believe they were a Muslim. I'm not even sure. He gave his life to the Lord. My mission was accomplished. Muslims helped me accomplish my mission. I didn't, I didn't talk to Christians, and I didn't talk to Jews. But guess what they put on YouTube about me? They called me an international hate preacher. They said I was a chicken. They said I ran away, and, and I'm afraid to debate Speaker Corner Best. Now, li now listen to me. Are you afraid? Listen to me. No, for the record. Are you afraid? For the record. Prove it. 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 You know what they remind me of? They remind me of those bullies in grade two that, that push, push people in a corner. Fight, fight, fight. Man, I ain't led by you. I'm led by the Holy Ghost, dude. I don't really care what you got. We didn't, we didn't nick your Twinkies off you, yeah. All right. All we want to do is speak to you about Allah. Do you think words like Twinkies and pushing people in a bait phase me? I don't, I don't, I don't operate on your time, dude. Of course you don't, dude. Right. But you, and I don't, I don't owe you anything. to have a discussion. I don't even know you. It doesn't matter. You accepted this nobody a discussion. Okay. You know that. Let me, let me tell you something. Do you remember this? I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk. Oh man, bro. Okay. Thank you. If, 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 if you want to listen to me, if you want to listen to me, then listen to me. Don't like the He's not the Amalekite. If you want to listen to me, listen to me. He's not the infant and the suckling that you smite. Okay. So, so first of all, what I learned from Speaker's Corner is number one. Every person here that, that accused me of running and accused me falsely, they're a bunch of liars. A bunch of lies. The guy who's come to Speaker's Corner twice is teaching us about Speaker's Corner. <laughs> that's, that's cute. That's cute, David. That I blamed you for uh, calling all the Muslim murderers, but he did call all the Muslim actually beat their wives. Oh! oh. Come on. Hey, you, you got a video where I said every Muslim beats their wives. Yes. Every Muslim yes. beats their wives. Yes. You know what, what I said? The Muslims beat their wives. No, no, no. No, no, no. You know what I did say? Yeah. And I'll, and I'll say what I did say. I, I, I said aggressive people if he, if he abuse their wives. I very. Are you talking about last week? Yes. Okay. How about this? If, how about this? If I said all Muslims beat their wives, which I didn't, if you're going to. Would you like to put money on that? Gamble, you don't get <laughs> but you would okay. know that. Hold on, hold on. Like hold on, hold on. Hold on. But no, you would know that. No, because but you listen, would know that. Listen, because, because you know about our religion, footage. don't you? No, 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 no. no. We gotta look. No, no, no. Now listen to me. Yeah. If I said all Muslims beat their wives, that's the stupidest statement because you're you're now putting everybody into one category. People beat their wives because they got issues on the inside. Yeah. This has nothing to do. Uh, un unless well, of course you're gonna justify it because now you clearly no, 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 talking no. about it's, trying to it's justify live streamed. My entire thing was live streamed. Okay. Bring it up. How about how about take yeah, the time bring the it proof, up? Man. And if I, and if I said every single for the, that would be the really ignorant Listen, thing to say because every individual has different character. All right? 
But the ground teaches that, though, yeah? No. No, I, 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 no, no, what I did say was that anybody that's aggressive... Come on. Now you've got a voice because you've got David here with you. Bring the verse and we'll talk. I'll speak to both of you. Really, then bring it out. Get it, get it out. Okay? Because you're usually incognito. So, okay, so how about this? How about this? Can I just quickly just put in a couple steps, What? clear some things up, and then we can go? How about that? Okay, number one, I'm not a hate preacher. Okay, you got it? You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hate you, brother. Don't hate you. Takia. I don't hate you. <laughs> Takia. What you okay, number one, I don't hate you. So number Christian two, Takia, number two, number two, I did not run away and I'm not afraid. I, I, you know what, for the first time, and I, I literally, I'm not lying before God, for the first time, I actually, two days ago, two days ago, I don't have time to watch y'all videos. I don't watch your videos. I got too many things. I'm a pastor. I oversee a few other churches. I preach regularly on the street. Even this, this time I've been here, I barely had time to even upload videos. That's why my videos were the last of all the videos to be uploaded. Why? Because I had no time. I don't have time to sit around. Now listen, anybody that knows me, even from Toronto, I got over a thousand hours of street preaching videos that I still didn't even upload because I don't have the time. Okay? Number two, for the first time in my history, I actually two days ago sat and I was like, you know, what are these speaker corner guys all about? And I, and I watch some of y'all people doing it. I watch a bit of, uh, uh, I don't even know their names, uh, the skinny guy with the glasses, the nerdy guy looking. I watch, I watch a bit of him. I, 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 no, no, no. He, well, he looks a little nerdy. Okay, well, to me, that's my words. All right? I'm from Canada. You're from UK. I don't know. I'm not trying to be politically correct. So anyway, look, I watch some of his videos. I watch some of the white guy's videos. Hamza. I, 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 uh, I watch anything about speakers calling yeah. us yeah. yes so you just contradict oh listen the bible is a contradiction and he's just living the bible man so let, let him live with the same all right look 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 so for hold on, hold on. two days ago i started watching some of the videos and you know what i noticed you know what i noticed guys is that it seems like you all have been trained with the same with the same uh, evangelistic style. And, and that's exactly the same evangelistic style that I schooled um, Sadat with back in Toronto. No, no, listen to me. Listen to me. It's like what you guys do, what I watch. Okay, Dawa people. What I, what I noticed is that each of you guys, what you guys do, you try to attack the credibility of the Bible. That's your number one thing that you try to do and you keep That's asking questions listen to me That's listen to me. you keep asking questions yeah. and questions and questions and you don't let allow anybody to even really dig deep into you listen listen would you have a discussion with the muslim well, uh, let's uh, have a discussion, discussion. Yeah. hold on like listen, you hold on i'll talk to you after okay okay, hold cool. on. okay? so i i noticed that everybody's doing the same pattern trying to test the credibility of the bible who's matthew mark luke and john you know the textual right, variance. This is this is this is so played out, so old school. And I watched all of y'all do it. I seen I seen Hamza uh, deal with Isaiah 42 when I just schooled the next dude. I don't even know his name about Isaiah 42. So. What, what, what? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're talking to me. On your talk with Hamza. You know what you do? Yeah, that's your name. What do you want me to call you, Bob? Do you want me to call you Bob? I don't mind calling you Bob. Listen, David, listen. So, you, you don't know me. What, what's your point? I'm giving you my point. You, I'm trying to try. I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you. I'm trying to give you. What did you give you a point? Sorry, Bob. Listen. The fact is, you said to Hamza, you're coming back to talk to him. Did you come back and talk to him? I didn't come back. Ah. No, you ah. listen, listen to me, listen to me. Listen to me. He didn't have okay, time you know, to talk to him. You know what happens here? But he had time. So when I, when I speak, you just speak over me. You don't really want my real answer. You look like an honest dude, dude. You look, look like an honest dude. These guys just answer me, say a little quick uh, sound bite, and then they talk over me, and I'm going, uh, and I can't even explain myself. <laughs> I mean, that, that's what Hashim did. He didn't even allow me to explain anything to him. Listen to me. Do you even want to know? You want to stay in your lies, dude. You want to stay in your lies. You want to stay in your lies, too. You want to you you hear and then put it up on YouTube and misquote me. No, listen to me. Here's the difference. David, would you like to have a one-to-one -one discussion with a brother, respectfully, 
with, listen, you know, with I'll let you finish and I'll decide after. You will okay. never do that. You will listen. never do that. Listen to me, guys. Listen. Hey, young man or big man. Big guys, they just shouting at you. Yes, Bob. On, carry on. Listen. listen. No, no, Bob, you didn't listen to me. No, you didn't listen to me. I wasn't finished. I'm trying to divert you, bro. Addressing the crowd like you're doing now. David. David, be a man, David, talk to me, man. To you. Pay attention, David, please. the no, fact no, is... David, be a man, interrupt me every second. How can you even talk? You think I would really want to talk with someone like you? Do you really think I would want to talk to you? Did you just call me over? You said, hey, big okay. man. Did you say that or not? Did you say that? Yes, you did. So now I'm talking to you. David. Calling me my name. David, you're telling porky pies. Come on, David. Okay. Come on, you're eating porky pies. So how about this? <laughs> you, got, you got some issues, dude. You got issues, dude. You got some anger issues on the inside, man. You got anger issues, dude. You need, you need Jesus. You need Jesus, dude. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. You need Jesus. Let's forget that. Let's how, how about this, guys? Can you, can you ignore Hold everybody? On. Well, it's hard to ignore people when they keep talking over you. It's like confusion. You know what I'm going to do? I want everybody to come there, and I'm going to talk with my mic, and I'll go yeah, back on, and forth. Go. How about that? Where's yeah. that? That's a, right at the front. But I ask That's how you I do things. Uh, he wants to take the Muslims out of that way and speak his corner. Yeah. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you do it? David. Who's fighting for that? Do it right here. Who wants to come? I'm not running, though. I'm not afraid. I'm not running or I'm afraid. I'm bringing it there. He wants to take all the Muslims who are giving da'wah outside of the corner. Yes, I'm bringing it there. So follow me over there. Out of the corner though. I'm not running. I'm not afraid. I'm bringing it there. Why are you running there? Why are you running there? Don't run. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Don't run. God bless you, man. You got a bunch of demons trying to talk so to me. How far do you have our discussion? Come on, I How far are you supposed to go? We're going to use Right in the front. All right, man. Muslims love me for leading the troop out of Egypt right amen. now. Hallelujah. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. All the fish were pulling from the pond, amen. Pray for these people in the name of Jesus, amen. To follow amen. Jesus, I have decided. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, man. To follow Jesus. Hallelujah. Check, check, check. Check, check. One, two. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. So I'm going to clear up some things and then we're going to talk. How about that? You guys want to talk? Where's my Bible? I think, I think we followed you on the assumption that Thank you need to have a discussion with a Muslim. I think, what, a Muslim. You did, I think what you did is you followed Jesus. No, no, I'm a Muslim. My name is Mansoor. Okay. So can I have your mic? No, 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 you can't have my mic, dude. Then there's no discussion. You, you, don't, you don't walk. No, no, no. I don't follow your rules, dude. No, no, no. My no, no. rule is this. First of all, I'm not even mic. following your rules. So you're not having Who are you? I'm a Muslim. Who so are what? you? Who are you? I'm a Christian. And I follow the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So so listen to me. No, no, no. You follow my rules. Because you're in my turf right now. Your territory. That's why you came here. Because you're so uncomfortable with Speaker's Corner. Now, yeah, I am I am uncomfortable with unreasonable people like yourself. So so anyway, listen to me. We're gonna talk. No, 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 you stop. No, you stop. So now we're gonna, see ground rules. You know, this is this is Sadat's uh, version. I think he taught all you. Ground rules, no. You know what the ground this is streets, dude. This is yes, streets, dude. I, street I ain't working with you. I'm not doing Listen, I'm if you're going to be on the streets talking with me, you're going to talk with me my way. Yeah, give me your you understand? Mind. So listen to me. No, no, give me your what, make, what makes Islam so special? Give me the mic, I'll tell you. Tell no, no, give me the mic in my hand. No, 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 no. Do you want to work or no? If you if you talk to this dude. Who are you? Who are you, dude? Okay, listen. I'm going to clear up. I'm going to clear up some stuff right now in the name of Jesus. First of all, I bind every demon in this place in the name of Jesus. And I command every demon to leave this place because Jesus will be Lord. Hallelujah. There is one God and he has a son named Jesus. He died on the cross for you and for you and for each and every person. Now I'm going to clear something up right now. Number one, I'm not a hate preacher because for God so loved the world, for God so loved you. I'm a hate preacher. Get this. Get this. Get this. For God so loved you that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God loves you. I'm a hate preacher. God loves you. I'm a hate preacher. 
God loves you. So what? I'm a hate preacher. You are a hate preacher. God loves you. So why are you talking to me? I'm a hate preacher. You are talking to him. How many times you want me to tell you, you I love you? Answer, 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 I love you. You are talking to him. I love you. Why are you talking to me? I love you. You are talking to him. I love you. You love. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Why are you talking to him? God loves you. Why are you talking to him? God loves you. This this proves. God loves you. This proves you are a hate preacher. You are not willing to have a conversation. Listen to the reasoning. This proves that I'm a hate preacher because I'm telling him God loves him. God loves you. God doesn't love you. He's a hate preacher. If God doesn't love me. If he is really willing to engage, then he should have a discussion. But as you can see clearly, as you can see clearly, when he goes to his own territory, he will really spew out this hate against Muslims. When a Muslim is confronting him in his hate, he is afraid to discuss. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Let's talk. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Number one, I'm not a hate preacher. Do you guys get it? Are you guys who thinks I'm a hate preacher? Put up your hand. I do. Let me tell you what. Okay, so now, hold on, hold on. Whoever you are, what's your name? Give me the mic. What's your name? I'm not giving you my mic. Give me the mic. Who does this guy think he is? Who are you, dude? Who are you, dude? Who are you, dude? Who are you? I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. You're a Satan yourself. I'm a Satan myself. You're a hate preacher then. Amen. Amen. I'm a man of God. You know I'm a man of God. Let me tell you what. You're anger, dude. This is my microphone. I don't have to give you my microphone. Why not? Because I don't want to. If you no, I just don't want to. No, you're a bully. Look at your eyes, man. You're a Satan. Oh, he calls me Satan. No, I, I said your eyes are full of Satan. And your eyes are full of what? No, your eyes are full of, God. No. Full of fear. Now, look at me right now. Look at me. Prove to me. No. Prove to me that I'm a hate speaker. I'm gonna put it at your mouth. Prove Give to me. me the mic on my hands if Listen you're not afraid. No, because he. Do my stuff. As long as we hear. Do you want to prove to me that I'm a hate preacher? Can you do that? No. What I'm gonna do? He is can't this. do it. So shut up. You can't. What I'm gonna do is prove to you, you that your belief, your belief. Who says I'm a hate preacher? Put up their hands. Prove it. You're Prove that I'm a hate preacher. You're Prove, it. Okay. Prove, it. Okay. Prove it. Prove it. Am I a hate preacher? Give me the opportunity. Prove I'm a hate preacher. Put the mic down. No. Prove I'm a hate preacher. Don't be rude. Put the mic down. You see, the reason why, the reason why many of these Muslims are struggling with me, because they can't put me in their box. You are a liar. I'm a liar. You are a liar. God loves you. You are a liar. God loves you. 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 Is this the best you got? God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Some attitude. That's all it is. So if you really want to engage with the Muslim, let's have God loves you. God loves you. Please, as much as move as back, much as back. Move back, man. Listen, God loves you. Did you just say you're gonna have a conversation? God loves you. Did you just say with your own mouth? God loves you. You're gonna have a conversation. God loves you. Did you just say that? God loves you. You're a liar. Okay. I'm proving you. You're a liar. You wanna prove to me I'm a liar? Why am I lying? You said over there. Come over here. We're gonna have a discussion. We're gonna have a discussion. We're gonna have a discussion. But I can't even talk. You guys are trying to take over the show. It won't work here. It this won't work. You are not allowed to talk. Say that again. You are not letting him talk. Brother, the guy asked. A simple question. Why is he a hate preacher? Do you it's know a why? Question. Do you know why? Okay, brother. Okay. 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 So, so notice you, the guy that's accusing me of being a hate preacher. Hold on, hold on. He ran away. Hold on. He's chicken. He's chicken. Please put that on you. I'm not taking it. That can't answer my questions. What I'm saying is this: either he's evil, he can't do it. There is no microphone for both of us. Or, or listen. Or so I notice the reason why. Speaker's Corner is having Muslims seem to win engagements because they're ignorant, they put people in boxes, and they don't let you ask them questions. They want to control the discussion, and if they can control the discussion, then they win. And guess what they always do? They always attack the credibility of the Bible, but they never ask themselves, are there textual variants of the Quran? Yes, there are. Did you even know that? Yes, maybe you didn't. I don't know. But there's so many things I could talk about. But here's the thing. 
prove to me I'm a hate preacher. It's one man. So one man against all of Speaker's, speaker's one Corner one right one now. One prove one to me I'm a hate preacher. Prove to me I'm a hate preacher. He doesn't believe I'm a hate preacher. He didn't accuse me. Do you know what? I'm a hate preacher. God bless you. He doesn't know. Anybody? Who are you? Well, I, I, She's a woman. Introduce yeah, why yourself. Why your scientists repent or perish? What am I repenting for? You sin. sin. Yeah. What's my sin? I don't know. Who are, who, do, do, do you have sin? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, but, but here's, here's what I got to say to everybody. I, say, I love life. I okay. love life. Keep living life. But you do. Thing, you need to repent. Say, it, no, 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 no. Actually, you're wrong. Because you're the Jesus. thing I... No, you can't touch us. Okay, you know what? I don't know who you are, lady, but God bless you, man. If no, you no, want to no, live no, life, no, you, live no, life. No, you don't want to listen to me. No, I don't. No, the reason you're right. You're right. You're I don't want to listen to you. Why? Not because I'm afraid of you. No, you you I'm Am I afraid of her, too? No. I'm afraid of a blonde haired lady with blue eyes. I'm afraid. No, no, I didn't say you're afraid of me. Oh, green eyes, sorry. You said, don't be rude, man. Come on. Come on. No, not really. Because I was actually talking. Ah, okay. Do you want to listen to what I'm saying? No, you, no, so you don't want to listen to you. I don't want to listen to you. you know God bless you. Live your life. Live your life. You got sin, and if you don't repent, you're going to hell. Straight. You don't sin? Okay, then, then you're in ignorance. If you don't think you got mistakes or problems in your life, then you got an issue. Anyway, anybody here can prove to me that I'm a hate preacher. Okay, stop. How many times? How many times did you tell? Yes. You told more than hundred times that you only did say that you are not here to preach. So what's your you you new Don't believe in me. Well, first of all, okay, guys, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, stop, stop, stop. Okay. We already had one Muslim run away because you're chicken. Oh. I can, I can, that's propaganda. It's propaganda. I admit that. He didn't run away. He just didn't want, he just didn't have the discussion his way. And he started becoming very aggressive and forceful to have it in his box. And I'm like, no, I ain't giving you my mic. I ain't giving you my mic. It's my mic, dude. You operate by my rules. If you want to go on my mic, I will give you the mic and I will let you speak. But you ain't going to take my mic. So number one, this guy says he can prove to me that I'm a hate preacher. So prove to me. No, I didn't say that you're a hate preacher. I said you only did repeat more than 100 times that you're not a hate preacher. Okay, fine. What's your new message? Okay, so thank you. So I cleared it up that I'm not a hate preacher. So what kind of preacher am I? I'm a preacher of love. I'm a preacher. I love. I love Muslims, and I love you. Yes, I, love you. I love you. Yes. Can you give me the mic? I love you. I won't give you the mic, but if you want to, I don't. I don't debate. If you want to ask me a question, I hate you because I don't want to debate you. Wait, wait, wait. Think of logic. I hate him because I don't want to debate him. No, it's that I don't rate him. I, I could become a rapper right now. I hate him because I don't debate him. That means I don't rate him. You know, uh, come on. Listen, bro. Listen. What, what would you like? What, what's your problem? I like to talk. You want to talk to me? Jesus saves from hell. Okay. What would you like to talk? Talk. Do you believe Jesus? I do. Okay. First of all, before before I continue this discussion with you, listen. Before I forget, because you actually seem rational. The other guys seem forceful and aggressive and like they want to hijack me or whatever. But listen, you seem a little different. Now, I, I, do you speak English? Not well. Not well. Okay, maybe I, I, for the for the sake of the cameras. No, no. For the sake of the cameras, I don't know if I should answer you because because when I preach, I I, I, I talk to people. I reason. A lot of these debates that I heard you guys on YouTube talking about. Well, listen to me for a second. I need to clear something up because there's a lot of propaganda going around. A lot of the things that I, I actually two days ago started watching some of the Speaker's Corner, I've dealt with all of that extensively on my other 2,000 videos, so I'm definitely not afraid of their nonsense. So they are telling me that I only speak with Muslims that don't really speak English and are immigrants. So I don't know, I don't know if I should talk to you because if I talk to you, okay, somebody's going to send a video no, no, and start to say I'm only talking no, to you. No, no, and I, I wouldn't talk to Mansoor. But in fact, I asked Mansoor a question he couldn't answer. That's why he ran away. Like a chicken. Like a chicken. He's not knowledgeable. He's aggressive. All he, all he has is atheistic views. All he has. No, no, no. He, no, no what he knows? He knows atheistic, atheistic skeptic views against the Bible. That's what he's very well versed in. And that's what he goes and he tries to debunk people with it like an atheist. Look, I, 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 look, these guys have already self-condemned on the way to hell. Now, you now, 
Sorry? How long how long have you been in Haibak? What is that? I, I never see you before in Haibak. Yeah, because I'm not from here, I'm from Canada. Yeah, you can. That, that, that's why, you know, everybody hates you. Because, Maybe, because, because I'm not from here. Because a lot of Christians, yeah, they have got a platform, yeah, they talk, they talk nicely to the people. But you are different, I don't know why. I, you know, I'll tell you why I'm different. You know why? Because... Because in Canada, you, you came to Canada, yeah. and they, they cannot have it, any freedom like you here. Well, uh, I, 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 I you. Are you all right? I saw you. Yeah, he preached on the street. No, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you why people love me so much. No, no. I'm going to tell you why. Because Muslims are getting saved every single day, and they don't like me. I actually, I actually was threatened. You know, this week I was actually threatened. My life was threatened. You know why? On video. No, no, no. It's still there. Why? Because I came to Hyde Park, preached about Jesus, my story. I avoided. I avoided debating. And I get threatened. What are we, what are people so threatened about me no, no, for? No, 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 they, can, they can't hear no, no, a preacher. No, no, no. I'm not afraid. No, no, no. For the record, no, no, no. I ain't afraid. Why do you have afraid? I'm here, alive and well, second week in Hyde Park. I left not because I'm afraid to deal with those dudes. You about Islam and you didn't you debate it. Okay, so, what, so what's your question? No, no. When you when you when you attack to Islam. Or to I Islam. attacked Islam. Yeah, for the Muhammad last week. I said. Okay, you, what did I say last week? Uh -huh. so, sorry. What did what I say? You, talk, you, you said Muhammad is a, it's not it's not a prophet. Islam, I don't believe he's a. I, I don't believe he's a final prophet. Islam, it's true. Yeah. I think Islam is someone, false. No, I do. No, for the record, everybody, no, no, I think Islam. Is, I think Muhammad is a false prophet, yeah, yeah. and and, and Islam, Islam is false. Yes. 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 So that makes me what? What? No, no. When someone is telling you, you run away. And you said no, no, no. Islam is attacking Like I said, I didn't run away. No, I didn't run away. No, it's in the YouTube. So, it is so on the YouTube. Yeah, so it's in YouTube. What? I didn't run away. But you're talking about the Islam. Yes, so, so what? So what? And he's yeah. okay. about Islam. Okay, when you're talking about the Islam, uh -huh. and to talking about the different things, not in the Islam. You cannot stop no, no, him from what you okay, have okay, to okay, say. Okay. Okay. Are, are, you, are you him? Let's speak, man. Why did you Let's speak. Come on, let's have your mouth. Please. And what happened is, we have to, we have to, uh, excuse me. Can you stop at Just, just go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, he's a very utopian and he's talking about And what happened is, we have to talk to you. When you talk about the Islam, we have to talk. When we talk about the Christianity, okay. I'm, I'm, we have okay, to be I get you, I get you. I'm, I'm just, I uh, listen, I would love to talk to you because I talk to anybody, yeah. but People are accusing me of only talking to people that don't know English no, no, well. Some, no, so I don't know no, no, if, if you want to. something wrong. Are you are you at a level to talk to me? Because I'm a pastor, no, and, anyway, and 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 I know English very well. So yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be here anyway. next time. This is my last week. Your last week. My last week here. Oh, it's a good. Listen, man. Hey, can I just listen? You're not, you're not, you're not ignorant, right? Where are you from? Where are you from? Somalia. Somalia. Okay. You're, you're a reasonable, rational. You, you're not, you're not ignorant. You're, you're willing to learn. You're willing to learn, right? Of course. Okay. Just take this and give it a read, okay? Yeah, I can take it. Give that a read. God bless you. God bless you. Just, just take it. Read. Okay. Can I, can I ask you one thing? We love you. You know. We love you. And I love you. We love you too. Can you love me? Can, can you, can you oh. How many Muslims love me, man? Do you love me? No, you are a human being. I'm a human, human being. being. We're human beings, right? We're arguing theology you here. That's nothing to do with you personally. You know, in, you know, in our Muslim countries, there's a lot of Christians there, and we are also Muslims. They live together, you know. But we have no hands. But in here, it's here. It says, it says, it says. Oh, listen, man. Hey, hey, listen, man. Can I get a hug? Hey? I love Muslim people. Yes. I don't hate you, man. I don't hate you. He's my neighbor. He's very mean to me. Yes or no? Awesome. Yes. I'm from Somalia. We are neighbors. Yes. Sometimes we hate. You know, here's the thing. It, you, know what, you know what it is? Sometimes, you know what happens in, in some of these discussions? Is, and, and you notice, you notice how the Muslim aggressive people, they, they ran away? You know why? Because I didn't fall into their box. You know, you gotta stop falling into people's boxes and traps and just and just no call their bluff, man. Call them out for what they're doing, man. They they wanna they wanna dominate the conversation. Of course, if anybody dominates it, I mean who cares, man, right? But listen to me guys. I don't hate you. I didn't run away. God loves you. I love you. And the gospel is for Arab, for a Jew, for everybody. Hallelujah. God so loved the world. Amen. That he gave his one and only son. Whoever you are today, I'm talking to everybody. People, there's, there's videos about me online saying I'm an international hate preacher. I'm telling you the fact. I don't hate you. I love you, brother. 
I love you, man. And I have nothing again. I don't know you, but I but I care about you. I want you to have the best life. I want you to be saved. I want you to know God. I want you to be happy. I want you to have joy. I want you to have peace. I want your family to be stable. And I bless you. I bless you right now. Okay? I don't, I don't hate you. What we're really struggling with and what the debate is, is what path we should follow. Yes. That's, that's the real debate. Should we follow Jesus or should we follow Muhammad? Should the Sunnah of Muhammad be the final standard or should the, uh, should the Sunnah of Jesus be the final standard? So here's, here's the thing. I believe Jesus, I believe Jesus is worthy to be praised, worthy to follow, worthy to honor. And there's no other person that has ever lived on this planet that matched his integrity or his character. Amen. Do you agree with that? Amen. That in a certain way is correct, but at the same time Jesus said he is coming again. So the one who comes again will be better than him. Even though it's him. <laughs> you see, Jesus is the second Adam. He came it as, he did not came as Adam, he came as Jesus. So, so, so if I said I'm going away to work and I'm coming home again? The clearly says, uh, I don't know if you will find faith when I come again. And it also says he won't come in the same, it will come in the same manner as he came, which means a physical person. Okay. Yeah. So Jesus now, will come again. Now, physics tells you in science that the same person cannot come in the same physical body again because it has disintegrated. So it can only come into spirit. Yes, it come in. Which means it needs a different body. So how does that work with, is, do you know anything about Islamic theology? I know a bit about So it. what happened to Jesus' body the first time when he rose, uh, when God took him? Did his body just disintegrate or is he up in heaven with flesh and blood? His physical body disintegrated as God intended from the very beginning. His spiritual body is just in paradise, not in heavenly kingdom. Just so what happened to Jesus' physical yeah. body? <coughs> just it, that it disintegrated. So Jesus doesn't have a body right now, even though God took him and he didn't die, right? He did have and still has a very strong spiritual body. As we all have the second. second. Okay, so I never thought of this until right now. So if God took Jesus up, according to the Muslims, and he didn't die, and his body disintegrated, that means Jesus did die, and he rose again. That's right. Because his body disintegrated. And anybody that I know whose body disintegrated, that means they died. Physically, yes. There you go. Uh, there's, there's something that I didn't even think about until right now. So according to Islamic theology, Jesus did die. Whether he died on a cross or he died by disintegration, he died and he rose again. And guess what? He's coming again to judge and to destroy the Antichrist. And that's what makes Jesus so unique and special. How does he judge it? How will he judge? By his word. Just by his presence alone and his word, he's going to destroy all his enemies. And, and guess what? Um, I don't think he's going to be walking around in, 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 in some house or in the desert because uh, Jesus already foretold 2,000 years ago if they say lo he's in the desert or in that room do not go because many false Christs and false prophets shall come and deceive many yeah. so the teaching you know in fact um, I don't think and I'm gonna be honest here this doesn't make me a hate preacher I don't think the Quran is complete why because you require external resources to 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 under even, even understand the Quran like for instance where does it say Jesus is going to uh, destroy the Dajjal? Does, that, does it say that in the Quran? No. Does it say that in the Quran that Jesus is going to come again to judge and, and, and destroy the Dajjal and break the cross and all that stuff? Is that even in the Quran? Uh, I don't know the Quran to that. Okay, you don't know. So, so, so listen, I don't, want, I don't want those watching my video to say I only ask people that are unknowledgeable. Listen, that's not the point here. The point, that I just was talking to you for a brief second, and I noticed... <laughs> that you said that Jesus' body disintegrated. And I was just like, wow, that's interesting. I never thought of it that that means that Jesus actually did die, according to the Quran. This I cannot testify because I'm an Islamist. But what I can say is that oh, Jesus it. clearly said he has to tell something when he comes back, which nobody knows at the time. It means the gospel will be superseded with the stuff he will tell the next time. Okay. That is something we have to wait for. And now, can I ask you a question? It will be very much what you call it uh, on our toes to really realize it because we do know 
that the Pharisees and they have been waiting for the Messiah for 3,000, 4,000 years and still did not recognize him when he came. So the chances that Jesus will not be again recognized when he comes again is about 90%. Okay, great. God bless you. So listen, I want to clear up some stuff just for the record. Number one, I'm not a hate preacher. I'm going to say it again. Number two, I, I'm not afraid. If I was afraid, I wouldn't be here again. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of that guy who ever came. He, I think he's one of the Speaker's Corner's bests. Couldn't even answer my question. Ran away. Couldn't even prove that I'm a hate speaker. And yet that rumor is going around. So that's just discredit. I, I discredit people like that. I discredit people that come along and start arguing. Can't even, like, calm themselves. Because, you know, when people can't calm themselves, man, listen, man. <laughs> They gotta check themselves before they wreck themselves, and and, and when people are, are so un, uh, so so shaky, shaky, it's gonna blow up anymore. I don't want to be around no bomb, dude. <laughs> Listen, man, I want to be around rational people that want to have intelligible conversations, and actually want to be saved. I actually want the truth. I don't care who I talk to. I talk to anybody, but when I see arrogant people, rude people, people that want to box me in their own little corner, because that's all they got. That's all he had was his own little box. But when I took him out of his box, so uncomfortable he ain't even here anymore. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? This is going to be on YouTube. Where did he go? Run away like a chicken. <laughs> you know what? They call this the lion's den. Well, then I must be Daniel. <laughs> I must be Daniel because God is protecting me. I walked in twice, came back out alive. I'm looking for this dude. Where did he go? Back into the den. Listen, man, go back into your grave. Go back into your prison. Because when, because when Jesus comes... You can't stand in his presence. Amen. The reason why people are standing around me is because there's something I say that's powerful. Hallelujah. It shakes the world. Amen. What is it that shakes the world? Is it because I give people a religion? No, the religion has been around for so long. People have been praying five times a day, prayers, paying zakat, going to hajj, doing, go, praying rosary beads, and, and taking Holy Communion for a lot of your water baptized, sprinkled. That don't change anybody. You know what changes people? Is when you have a personal relationship with God, where you believe Him, and He comes into your heart, and you know that you know that you're forgiven, and that he's, he, he loves you, and you're empowered with His Holy Ghost. Now, I was thinking about something that, that kind of struck me. Now, I want to clear up another matter because when I was talking with Hashim and he asked me, does Jesus, uh, basically what he was saying is, can God have a God? And I said, yes. <laughs> so you mean Jesus, God has a God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want me to explain? He didn't let me explain. So now I'm going to explain. The Bible actually says that God um, um, holds his word so high even above himself. Now, what I believe, and many Muslims even believe too, is that the, the um, attributes of Allah are... Allah. In fact, you would never know a person without their expressed character. Okay? A person without an expression is not a person but a dead corpse. Right? Everybody has an expression. How do you know that I'm David? Because of the way I speak, my demeanor, my attitude. That's me. And that attitude, the things that come off of me is what they call my attributes. Now my attributes come forth from me, therefore it has an authority, and yet it's God, and yet it has an authority, and God means authority. So yes, God has a God. His word comes forth from him and is him. There's one God fully expressed in his word, and his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. And if that's too hard for you to understand, well, I just, I'll say it again. Listen. <laughs> The expressions and the attributes of God come forth from God, are in submission from God, and are personified because God's a real living being. Yet, many Muslims struggle with the question, are the attributes God? Many Muslims would say, no, it's not God. So if it's not God, then who is it? That means you're worshiping two gods. You say you worship one God, but you worship God and his attributes. Or rather, you, you look at his attributes as though it's God, but then you can't even acknowledge that it's God. So then what are you worshiping? I'm honest and say, listen, the attributes of God are God. It's distinct from God because it comes forth from God. It's sent from God, and yet it is God. It's like the sun. I tried to explain this to the imam last week, but for some reason he was scratching his head. Didn't know, the sun, the sun. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, the sun. One sun, but the rays come forth from the sun. Now, are the rays the sun? Yes, it is. Is the rays the physical sun? No, it's not, but it is. It's the sun but it's not the physical sun. What you feel from the sun, is that the rays? No, it's the heat from the rays. But would you say you're feeling the sun? Yes, one sun with the physical rays and the heat, yet there's one sun. How is that being? Now the heat comes forth from the sun, 
Which one comes first, the chicken or the egg? Well, I would say the chicken comes first and then the egg comes after. The rays come forth from the sun, therefore the rays are in subjection to the physical sun. And the heat comes forth from the rays, and therefore that's in subjection to the rays, and the rays are in subjection to the sun. But yet, you would never say that there are three suns. There's one sun, eternally existent, in the physical, the rays, and the heat. That's what makes the sun. That is the character of the sun. That's it. One God and his character is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Very, very simple. So now, to answer the question that someone asked me, well, how is it that Jesus never knew the time or the hour? Well, listen, the rays come forth from the physical thing, and so there's a source to all things, but yet the source is not uh, fully what it is without the ray and without the heat. Okay, so the sun is dependent on the rays and the heat for it to be called a sun. You need all three elements for it to fully be called the sun. If the sun is the sun without the rays and without the heat, then we wouldn't call that a sun. We would call that a planet without any heat. Whereas the sun, so he fully expressed God, and that means his character, his identity, his personhood is God. He's nobody else. And that's why Jesus seats on the right hand of God the Father. That's why... There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. That's why Jesus is the Lord of glory. Why? Because he fully reflects who God is. He reflects God. He doesn't reflect a different person. He, he reflects God. That's why we call him the Son of God. Because he's worthy to be called son of, the Son of God. The Bible says the fullness of God dwelt within him bodily. The fullness of God dwelt within Christ bodily. Because he was the eternal Son of God. The Word of God become flesh. So this is what that guy Hashim didn't want me to say or didn't want me to answer. He was shocked when I said God has a God. Well, listen, he didn't understand me. There's one God, only one God. But the definition of that one God is very different from his definition of one God. I believe my God is real. He's more than a corpse. They believe their God is just some kind of planet without rays and without heat. That's, that, that doesn't do anything for me. And that's why their God doesn't do anything for the average human being except give them rules and regulations and religion. But it doesn't give them life, doesn't give them power, gives them a bunch of anger. They get, listen, and I'm not saying every Muslim is angry. No. For the record, I don't know where they said I said every Muslim beats their way. I never said that. That is the most stupidest thing that anybody could say. I do not believe that every single Muslim beats their wife. I don't believe every single Muslim is a terrorist. I don't believe that. Maybe some people do, but I don't. Every person is unique. Every person has a choice. The reason why people start abusing their wives is because they got anger issues on the inside, insecurity. They can't seem to control their environment without violence. And unfortunately, we see a lot of violence in this world, and we see a lot of crazy things. But listen, I'm here to preach Jesus. I'm here to preach him crucified. I'm, him to, I'm here to preach life in Jesus. Now, I notice people don't want to hear the gospel. People want to argue. People want to debate. But they want debates in their box. But I say, come out of your box and come into my box, and then we can talk. They don't want to talk. So who's afraid? It's not that I'm afraid. It's, it, it's that I don't waste my time on reprobates. Now, if somebody actually wants to know and really wants to learn about Jesus Christ, here I am. I'm here to explain. If you want to ask legitimate questions, these guys sit around every single... I watched their videos two days ago, and I noticed that they go over the same thing over and over and over. They attack the credibility of the Bible. Oh, well, who's Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John? You want to know who that is? Well, Matthew and John were disciples of Jesus Christ. Mark, they, uh, actually, uh, uh, a man named uh, Justin the Philosopher, he saw, he was one of the early uh, church people, he saw Mark's writing as the memoirs of Peter. And Luke, he was a close companion of the Apostle Paul. But this is, this is how it is, my friends. I'm here again on the second week to preach the Lord. Cleared up some things that people have said. I'm not scared, I'm not a chicken, I'm not a hate preacher, okay? I don't, I, I don't believe in two gods the way they want to say, no, I believe in one God who's eternally existent in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And that's what I was trying to explain, but he didn't allow me to explain. And if there's any other thing that they need me to clear up, you saw how I challenged them, and I said, prove to me I'm a hate preacher. Nobody can prove that, because I'm not. And I'm going to say it again for the record. 
God loves you. If you're a Muslim today, God loves you. You're special. You're unique. Why am I here? That's a question. Well, I'm going to throw that question at you. Why are you here? Why are you at a park on Sunday afternoon? In fact, why do you have life inside your body? Why are you living? Why do you even care of what I got to say? Why are you thinking? Why are you breathing? I'm going to tell you why you're here, and then I'm going to tell you why I'm here. You're here because God put life inside your body. God wants you to live and to show forth his glory. That's why you're here. You're here because God made you in his image and his likeness, and he wants you to show him and not yourself. He wants people to find him and to know him and to, and to live out his life so that he can get the glory. That's the purpose of creation, is so that God's glory can reign over the earth. So why am I here? I'm here to reconnect you back with God so that you can glorify God and become conformed unto the image of his son, Jesus Christ. Why his son? Because the image of God was tainted through the first Adam by sin. Sin tainted that image. And what was supposed to reflect God's glory started to be tainted and confused with Satan's glory. The seed of the serpent mingled in with the seed of the woman. And there became a sinful creature called human beings. And they began to roam the world and do wicked things, creative sins, evils of all sorts. And so God had to make a distinction between good and evil Amen. so that people would see very clearly Amen. what the problem with this world is. Why do you think God sent prophets? He sent prophets to let you know, to make you aware that something is wrong with this world. Something is wrong. And that you need to somehow get back in a relationship with God. You know what's wrong? You know what's wrong with the Muslim? Wrong with the Hindu? Wrong with the Christian? Everybody? You know what's wrong? Sin. Sin is what's wrong. When you live in sin, you live in destructive behaviors, angry spirits, forceful behaviors. Seen a lot of it today. Rude behaviors. You start to do things that destroy you and destroy relationships. That's why this world is falling apart. So if it's falling apart, what that means is that we need a savior. We need somebody to reach out and to bring humanity back to God. So prophets were like many saviors. Prophets shared the word and told them about God, but we see very clearly from all the testimonies that the prophets weren't able to transform the heart of mankind. They could only give you messages. They can only tell you what to do. But the truth of the matter is, it didn't work. And so prophet after prophet, prophet after prophet, people continue to sin, continue to turn away from God. And so God said one thing, I'm going to make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. I'm going to make a new covenant with the world. And that new covenant is going to be through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, my second Adam. Now the Quran says that Jesus is like the similitude of Adam. He's like the second Adam. Now if you actually just take the time to look inside the Quran about who was Adam, we know that Adam had no father and no mother. We know that Adam came into being by God himself. We know that Adam... Uh, was standing as a vice regent or a viceroy to God. That's what I believe Surah chapter 2 or Surah chapter 3. I forgot the exact verse, but I can find it in a second. Actually, let me just find it right now so you know I'm not lying. But it says that Adam was a vice regent of God. Now, what's a vice regent? I know what, I know what the vice president means. Vice president means second in charge. Hold on one second. I know what the president means. The president means he's the number one guy. So how can Adam be the vice-regent of God? Does God need a vice-regent? 
I'm just going to put out some notes that I made because I was, I was, I was looking at some stuff and I, I just found it really, really interesting to see that the Quran actually talks about Adam in such a way that seems a little too fishy. A little too fishy. And what do I mean by fishy? Excuse me, There's parts... Adam, or Adam? Adam, Adam. 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 Yeah. We're not talking about Arabs. I love Arab people, for the record. I love Arabs. I love Jews. I love everybody. Okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Surah chapter 2, verses 30. It says this from the Quran that you received from the Islamic booth. This is what it says. And uh, anybody can verify with me just in case they accuse me of lying. I, I heard people, why do, well, okay, before I go on, why do people just throw, you're a liar, you're a liar. Like, what am I lying about? You're a liar, you're a liar. Because you just don't like what I'm saying, I'm a liar. You're a liar. I mean, it's like a, it's like a child. You, you tell something to a child and, and you say, your dad really isn't Hulk Hogan. You're a liar, you're a liar. Your dad is not Superman. You're a liar, you're a liar. Come on, guys. Like, grow up. Let, let, let's, let's get to the point. Surah chapter 2, verses 30 says this. It says this about Adam. You're a liar. You're a liar. It says, when your Lord said to the angels, I am putting a successor on the earth. In fact, other translations say viceroys, successor. Okay, that, those words are problematic in itself. A successor of who? Yeah. If Adam is the first yeah. human being, then who's Adam being a successor to? Okay? Other translations say vice regent, viceroy. When your Lord, Allah, said to the angels, okay, I am putting a successor on the earth, a vice regent on the earth. They said, Will you place someone there who will cause corruption on it and shed blood while we glorify you with your praise and, and extol your holiness? Now stop there. Are you telling me the Quran says that Allah is making a successor to him to god who is the successor? who is adam a successor to as the first human being somebody tell me i see many muslims here and i hope you speak english because i do not want any hate speech against me on the internet saying i only speak to uneducated people i don't i need your education to help me here that's why I'm here. Yeah, you don't want to speak to the educated ones. Oh, That's no, why you're not here. Yeah. No, the educated people are welcome to come over here. They're welcome here. The northern man knew he's the resurrection light. He made claims that even Adam couldn't make. Wow. Now, Adam had a comforter named Eve, but Jesus, the second Adam, he wasn't married. So what comforter did he have? He's the baptizer of the Holy Ghost. Oh, he has the comforter, yes. yes That's why Jesus said, I'm going to send another comforter, another help me. Yes. Wow. On, bro. Oh, Preach man. On, bro. Wow. That's why you need... You see... <laughs> okay, so, so Jesus is the second Adam. So that means he's the second Lord over all the glory. Now, why is... Adam was a lord because he was the first human being. He was the vice regent. He was standing in the representation of God. So he was a lord, but he wasn't the lord. He was a representative of the thing to come. See, God always does things in puzzles and pictures and stories. He sends the weak, and then he brings the strong. He sends, he sends the illusion first, and then he sends the big picture. He sends the prophecy first, and then he fulfills it. He sends prophets first, and then he sends the king. So God sends Adam, and according to the Quran, he says, I know the secrets of man. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. God knew. He was setting up the stage so that you would believe that Jesus is the Messiah. Why do you think Jesus is the only one in the Quran mentioned with a last name? Why does Jesus have a last name? Because he's double everything that any man could ever be. He's the 100% God man. Hallelujah. You can't even top Jesus. And even if you wanted to believe Jesus was just a man, he's the man above every other man. Even if you said Jesus is just a prophet, he's a prophet above every other prophet. He's the second Adam. And all you need to do is go back to Surah chapter 2, verses 30, where it says that Adam is the successor of God. That means Jesus is the true successor of God. Why do you think Christians call him the son of God? Hello, ding, 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 ding. 
Makes sense now, doesn't it? Makes sense. He's the son of God. Now, let's go, let's go to something that's really interesting. I was actually reading something that's really, really interesting. Really, really interesting. I, I made some notes, actually. And um, I was wondering to myself about the story when, when it says God breathed his spirit into Mary's uh, body part and then Jesus Christ came into the scene. I was wondering about that, and, I'm, and I want to find the exact verse so that you can know where I'm going with this, because we're going back into the idea of, of what I was trying to explain about how there's one God uh, in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and how uh, the Son is sent from the Father, but the Son is not the Father. And that's what people don't understand. They say, well, how can, uh, does God have a God? And it's like, okay, yes, but no. Because Jesus is fully God, but he's the Son and not the Father. It's like saying, are the attributes of God, God? Well, yes and no. It, it is. It, it's distinct from the source, but yet it represents the source. Okay? So, so listen. So I was thinking about something that really just struck my mind, because in this verse, and I'm going to bring it up, I just got to find it, 66 verses 12. And we're talking Jesus. This is free information about Jesus. I'm talking Jesus in your terms so that you can understand. So it says here. This is what it says. Now I want to ask, are there any Muslims here listening to me? Just, I'm not trying to single you out. Who is the Holy Spirit? Sorry, before I, uh, am I allowed to say, I didn't want to interrupt. Can, oh, I, can I just say you something? You can say something maybe after you answer my question, because I'm in the middle of something and I just want an answer. Oh, okay. Do you, uh, who's yeah. the, what do you believe the Holy Spirit is? Is it God? Is it? It's not God, no. So the Holy Spirit's not God, what is it? The Holy Spirit um, refers to, um, it's something that's given to prophets. Um, so it's, it's, a, uh, it's a connection. It's a connection with God. You know, off the top of my head, okay. I can't give you. How, however, okay. that's fine. I don't. I don't yeah. want. I'm not trying to trap you. I'm not yeah. trying to put you in a corner. And I'm not asking weak Muslims that I, don't I, know no, no, things. No, but can okay. I just say one thing? Just one. Okay, thing. very quickly. I, I will, will yeah, very quickly. Um, Muslims do not believe that Jesus is the second Adam, and I don't know where you got that from. Oh, and, okay. I, and, I, and I do know about Islam. Sure. But sure. I'm, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna pull I, up where I'm getting I that. Probably from. Know, I probably know more than most people here uh, even though I'm just a humble human being and, and you know I'm nothing but respect for you guys but um, you know we Muslims don't believe do that. not believe do you that. believe he's made of the similitude and the likeness of Adam well, okay I, you know what no, I don't I don't want to no, corny no, you know what no. I, I want to be but, fair to all the viewers out there that are but, accusing me of just asking random people. Well, actually, I do ask random people, but, but I don't want it to be used in a, in a kind of a propaganda thing. Can Look, you're, you're thing? not so skilled in the no, Quran, no, no, and no, I don't no, want to no, no, no. put you well, in a box. Well, no, I, I know what I'm talking about. I respect about. you, and I, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, all I thing is, you've mentioned it a couple of times now, so, can, so you know, it's not, it's not good that you're misquoting. So, I mean, do you have... Yeah, sure. I'm gonna, uh, can I pull it Because up? it's not in the Quran. Okay, so hold that. If you just give me one second, I'm going to yeah. show you where I'm getting that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and then I'm going to just clear up what I was saying so that I don't get off topic, okay? Okay, okay. so what I was trying to say, and I, and I just wanted a question, I wanted the answer from any Muslim. Who is the Holy Spirit? Okay, is there any Muslims that can answer that question for me? But who is the Holy Spirit? Angel Gabriel. Sorry? Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel is the Holy Spirit? Yeah. No, that's not true. Yeah, it's true. It is Angel Gabriel. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah. It's according to your Bible as well. No. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So he doesn't believe that. Okay, and they believe that's the Holy Spirit. So, so this was a concern for me. I, I read in Surah chapter 66, verses 12. It says, "God." Again, translating Allah for God in this translation. Gave another example in the story of Mary, Imran's daughter, who preserved her chastity, and we breathed of our spirit into her. She testified to the words of her Lord and his scriptures and was truly devout. I was struggling with that because if God breathed his Holy Spirit into her, then either he was breathing the angel into Mary let me or... Let, let me correct you. Let me correct you. Uh, when he blew his spirit, 
the spirit the same as the spirit which he blew in Adam when he created Adam. So the angel who came with the spirit from God, he are uh, angel Gabriel who are responsible always to mediate between God and all the prophets and all the messenger, including when there is something uh, which is Mary received. Receive uh, the word of God, uh, Jesus, as... as okay, I, I'm not trying to put anybody in... Just for the record, I'm not trying to put any Muslim or anybody in a trap here. I just preach Jesus, and I preach, and I believe that he is the Son of God. I, that's what I believe. No disrespect to you. But, but, but are you saying to me that... And I'm not trying to put you in a corner, not trying to make you look fool. I, I don't care for that stuff. I, I want you to be saved. I want you to know God. I, I bless you. Thank I you, bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you. Listen, um, are you saying that God breathed angel Gabriel no. onto Adam? No, no, no. Uh, God, God, according to your Bible, is invisible, eternal, immortal. And God, nobody seeing God or not, nobody able to see God, including the angels. There's four angels, they are responsible for different, uh, there are four, uh, Angel Gabriel, which is, uh, he is responsible to convey the message to uh, the prophet and human being, servant, servant of God, uh, Angel uh, uh, Israel, Israel, who is responsible about taking the soul of the human being, uh, Angel Israel, who is uh, responsible about uh, the rain and about everything, and uh, Angel Israel, uh, uh, Mikael, who is uh, uh, holding uh, to, to blow uh, the horn when the day of a judgment, when he gets the permission of God. So this is uh, for. Uh, regarding, regarding all, uh, you, you said that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God. God, uh, uh, I, I'm not talking to you, I didn't interrupt you, I'm, I'm listening to him. Uh, uh, angel, we come back to Angel Gabriel. Angel Gabriel is obedient servant of God, which he takes the order and he does what he does. And besides, the Son of God, Son of God, according to the Bible, the people who uh, obey the commandment of God and apply the law of God on their life. So they become son of God as they are servant of God. Because we are created to worship God and serve Him and to please Him only as Jesus, uh, Jesus okay. teach. I get yes. you, I get you. So is the, is the spirit of God that He blew into Adam, yeah. is that angel Gibriel? No, I didn't say uh, he blew uh, as the spirit, as the spirit of Adam, Angel Gabriel. Uh, the uh, the soul that God blows the spirit and us all human beings, which we all live by this soul, is from God, and this is our gift of life. And when when God takes the soul, uh, the the angel of death takes the soul and put it somewhere. Uh, uh, somewhere uh, in kind of uh, uh, restricted area, we are, we are not able to come gotcha. back. Gotcha. Okay, so I want to understand something, and maybe this is a maybe there, there is a specific definition of uh, belief on this issue. But I just when I spoke with you, you didn't you believed there was something different. Two Muslims believe that the Holy Spirit is the angel Jibril. You don't believe it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so, so stay, stay, okay. Stay with me. No, no, that's okay. Stay, Wait, hold stay, on. With, me. okay. stay with me. No, 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 that's okay. Okay, I'll stay with you. So, so here's the thing. Okay, I, I mean, either God has a spirit that He can impart onto people, and that spirit is His presence. If, is that spirit God? Is, is the spirit that He sends? Is that God? Okay. Or is it is it not God? Uh, the spirit which being given by by us to live is from God, but it, God, God is not God because God wouldn't split into a million of people. But His Spirit, he, there is there is Ruh, which is uh, we, we call Ruh, like uh, an uh, an Spirit, uh, like Ruh is like a Spirit. Yeah, spirit. But, but, but he, he says here. And, and, and maybe I'm not. Okay. Okay. Don't maybe get, he can. Don't, don't get confused with, with yourself with this, because uh, the spirit, the spirit of God, is a gift for human being to live with. 
and this spirit it doesn't die because God is eternal and this spirit which God bestow on us to live it doesn't die because right. this spirit will go back but our nafas is our uh, desire this is the one and from the soul so okay. there is soul and this is spirit okay so when it when it says here that God breathed upon, um, of our spirit or God's of my spirit into uh, Mary yeah. he's not actually breathe he doesn't have a spirit you're saying he's just even though it says he has a spirit it's either it's hold on hold on it's either that what he blew was the angel Gibriel and that creates some obvious problems because that means that the father of Jesus is angel Gibriel so that would be some problems number two if it's not angel Gibriel and Gibriel didn't have intercourse with Mary and therefore Jesus is not the offspring of the angel then the spirit that he blew it says that it's of our spirits that means God does have a spirit and that means he can send his spirit now if what you're saying is not his spirit at all um, and you're just saying even though it says he blew of our spirit then okay now can you can he can he explain a bit Hold on. I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to see something here. I'm trying to understand it. Because I, I, I humbly said, look, I was reading this, and it, it, it just struck out at me, and I was just like, whoa. So, explain. Yeah, look, first of all, I mean, I really don't know why you're quoting the Quran so much. I think you should be propagating what you believe. Um, you know, you're referring to a translation in the Quran with an English word, and you're seeing spirit, and you're relating to it how you see spirit. But, you know, in, in the Quran, spirit doesn't mean what you think it is, right? So, let me tell you, because I just sort of... Let me talk about, in Islam, right, what it is, right? So, first of all, the concept of, like, the Holy Spirit, it's not something unique to Christianity, as you're aware, right? Yeah. So, although it's highlighted a lot in Christianity, um, the, co the concept of uh, the Spirit uh, is actually in, in every religion, but, but it's different sort of titles. Uh, so, so, I mean, without this concept, no religion can exist. Um, so basically, th there are volumes on this, you know, in Islamic literature. Um, but, you know, I mean, I just want to give you guys a gist because I don't want to take up sort of the whole platform. But um, one, of, like, one of the understanding that relates to the role of the Holy Spirit is one that governs and administers and supervises all affairs relating to prophecy and revelation. And this spirit is referred to as holy in the sense that it has nothing of its own mixed with the revelation that is delivered by God originally so that's what I said to you before right to be delivered to some servants of to some servants on his earth the institution of conveying prophecy or revelation has always been under the command of the Holy Spirit so this is shedding some light on it right so so perhaps it is in the sense that Saint John refers to the word and that it has always you know that it is always with him and the Holy Spirit he puts it slightly like in a confused way but basically I think if that is what he means the Holy Quran supports the view that the Holy Spirit is that being that has the key task of responsibility in the government of matters relating to revelation and that is the archangel to whom we also refer to as Jibreel but before you said the Holy Spirit wasn't Jibreel, and now you're reading a source that says the Holy Spirit is Jibreel. Oh, but Jibreel, Jibreel, like, again... Jibreel's an angel. Jibreel, yeah, but Jibreel is not like a person, yeah? So Jibreel was... See, in, in Islam, there are so many angels, and they have different functions. They serve different functions. So Angel Jibreel controls all prophecy, all... He's holy, he, he has no defilement in him at all. And it's it's perfectly displaying and bringing forth the word of God. Like this, this whatever that Holy Spirit is, whatever it is, it's so holy, has no flaw inside. It brings forth the pure word of God, the prophecy, everything about that. You can say so. Right? I can say so. So what that tells me is that let's just say let's just say it's not God. Okay, hold on. Let me okay. let's just say the Holy Spirit is not God. It would make God dependent upon something called the Holy Spirit in order to fulfill his very task. Amen. Therefore, God is 
it, it's not really that he is God. In fact, rather, he's a dependent God. He's a weak God because he requires something secondary in order to fulfill his his mission. That's your interpretation. Well, well, if God can't, if God can't declare prophecy, if God can't. Uh, bring his word without without something that means it's a necessary thing in order for God to communicate Angel Gibriel is necessary and for God to even express himself it seems yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, God he's a creator of everything uh, from his creation he he makes angels which they are servant of God he make jinn, they are created from smokeless fire and they are like a human, they have uh, a free will and we have free will but the angels, they are servant of God and they don't use their own will to do or not to do uh, God is all powerful and he creates all what in heaven and what on earth and he is the one who creates the angel to worship him and to do what he wants. But as I mentioned, uh, Angel Gabriel, he's the one who's responsible, taking order from, from God and to do such thing. Uh, I would like now to, to uh, come back uh, for the similarity between the creation of Adam and the creation of... Uh, okay, before you do, can I just... Okay, yeah. I, oh, let's go back there. So before you go there, um, did... Are the angels and even the jinn made by fire, are they created by God? Everything is created by God. Okay, so there once was a point when prophecy and the word of God and, and you know, when, when the, uh, the be and let it be, there once was a point when God didn't need angel Jibreel. It's not about... Well, I mean, what I mean is that angel Jibreel is not eternal with God, right? No. So that means there was a point when God brought forth life okay. before Angel Gibriel. Okay. So that means God had the ability to be the Holy Spirit before he appointed someone to be I, I, called I, I, the Holy Spirit. I, I, I got your so that point. means it's like two Holy Spirits. I, I, I got your point. Uh, the point is we cannot question God about what he, uh, he uh, decide to do or to create or whatever. What, what God wants to do, he create and uh, he, for us, a human being, he uh, send us messenger and prophet so to tell us there's only one God to be worshipped and uh, the message for all the prophet and messenger that uh, there's only one God worship him and obey him and that's the way it is uh, do you want me to carry on and talk about the similarity be between Adam and uh, and uh, Jesus? yeah we could go so, so just before we jump back there uh, I agree We're, let's worship one God and, and I'm just saying I think what Christians do uh, what Muslims don't do is we recognize the necessity of the Holy Spirit and we recognize the necessity of the attributes within the character of God and so we say look there's the Father we worship one God who is the Father of all and that one God reveals himself perfectly through the Word of God or the attributes of God which is called Jesus we this is just what we believe just understand and and this Jesus uh, brings forth his word and his revelation, his prophecy through the Holy Spirit. All of these are necessities to the one God's character. So we could never truly hear God's voice, know his prophecies, experience God without the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's why we believe that the, 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 the way that Christians express God is the right way because we don't jump, we don't, we're, we're honest enough to say, look, if that Holy Spirit is necessary for everything God does, then that, that thing must be so attached to God that it must reflect God perfectly. It must be distinct from the Father, distinct from the source, but yet one with the source. Therefore, that thing is a necessity, and that thing is God. What, what's happening here, uh, uh, there's creation, uh, there's uh, uh, confusion being created by worshiping, actually, the servant of God instead of God or Angel Gabriel with the Holy Spirit, as you said, or Jesus, peace upon him, whom? Then why did God, why did God... Let, let, let me carry on, just to, to explain everything. Because, uh, Jesus, peace upon him, uh, teach the, uh, uh, the Lord our God is one. 
he didn't say the Lord our God is uh, two or three and one and I am one of them but he referred to one God when, when, when they told him uh, when somebody told him you good he said don't tell me good he's the one who's good and Jesus peace upon him worship this God by bowing down and uh, uh, and uh, uh, like ask him whatever uh, he want to, he want to ask him and he serve him glorify him obey him uh, uh, pr praise him uh, and worship him by going down on his face to worship him and that's all what all the messenger of God they done and this is an example for us uh, by the obedience who uh, and Jesus teach uh, whoever apply uh, the obedience and apply the commandment of God, God will reward him and he will make a house for him in paradise. So uh, uh, Jesus peace upon him, he never worship himself because he used to worship somebody else and he used to say if you want to worship God, go to your room and worship uh, your father who is in heaven. He didn't that Jesus was an, an, an earth and Jesus uh, uh, tell you something as I mentioned uh, God is invisible eternal and immortal uh, Jesus is visible mortal and uh, has a beginning so uh, the difference between God and God wouldn't uh, would, uh, he's able to forgive us our sin uh, as long as we repent to him because as long as we repent to him God is all forgiver and all loving and this is the God we yes. worship yes. Yeah. you know a lot of the things he said is true a lot much. of things he said is true and I, and I recognize a lot of those things Thank you. but here's here's what I'm trying to get at is, is okay. this is there's an there's a underlying thing that's that's still kind of in the gap there is, is this is when God first created the world Okay, and he brought forth prophecy and life and everything. He did that without the angels. He created things before the angels. So, God must have the ability to be called the Holy Spirit before he appointed the angel to be called the Holy Spirit. Right? Because, I mean, even the prophecy to bring forth the angel called the Holy Spirit, that in itself is the Word of God, and that exists in God Himself. What, what, what you're doing is uh, uh, actually uh, framing God as uh, dimension, as Holy Spirit only. God is holy, and He has the uh, holy, and He creates everything. He is the creator of uh, the Spirit and of everything. So if God is holy, God is Spirit, what is the Holy Spirit? That's what makes if God is holy and He is the Holy Spirit, all prophets are Holy Spirit. As we, as we know, that God, as the Bible teaches and the Old Torah teaches and the Quran teaches, that God is good. He is source of all good and all all uh, good. And uh, regarding the creation of angels. God can do whatever he wants. The creation of everything is to worship him. Uh, in the Quran now, I, I'm going to uh, mention something that all what is on earth and, and heaven is praising God as his creator of everything. Uh, is, uh, and uh, our creation uh, actually to, to, to our, our creation, uh, the purpose of our creation to uh, acknowledge that God is our creator and to worship him. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. You, you remember, I remember you said something a little earlier that said God wouldn't create confusion and, and, and you know things like that. But then why would He tell all the angels to bow down to Adam? Uh, okay. Now we all the angels they bow to God and everything and else bow to God. When God chose to create a human being as a kind of appreciation for what He done. Well, well, it actually says. It actually says he's a successor. Let, 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 let me let me finish. Uh, God, when when he decided to create a human a human kind, God gathered from earth uh, a clay, and he made him as a human being, uh, uh, in, 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 in paradise actually. Then uh, he uh, said to the angel, he will be uh, uh, this a human being. He will inherit 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 my kingdom on earth and I will, uh, I will blow uh, and my spirit uh, will, uh, him, when I blow my spirit as a kind of uh, uh, 
uh, respect for me, for what I created with my own hand, you bow down to him. It's not bowing down to Adam, but bowing down to the power of God which he created Adam. Then one God blow his spirit and Adam, Adam become alive. And the same when God uh, decide to create to create Jesus peace upon him, Jesus said uh, word of God and spirit of God. God said be and he is. So and, and that's the way it comes to be. Uh, the miracle, the miracle and creation of Adam is far bigger than the creation of Jesus because Jesus he was formed and uh, and a womb, but uh, uh, Adam was created uh, uh, from. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look, man, it was, I'm not debating with you or anything like that. It's just, but I, I was just sharing here, and I just want to go back to what I was saying here, okay? Because the reason why someone was asking a question, where did I get this idea that Jesus is the second Adam? Do you believe Jesus is the second Adam? Uh, no, I don't believe the second Adam because uh, uh, as uh, as a human being, we are we every, each individual are responsible for his own uh, for his own. Now what I mean, action. what I mean by second Adam is is um, not that he's um, Adam literally, but that he is um, in the similitude of Adam or um, uh, uh, kind of. Um, a replication of Adam. No, I don't. I, I don't agree with this because uh, Adam, uh, he is the father of all the human being. Uh, Jesus, uh, he didn't even marry to, to have a children. Uh, so there is no similarity. No similarity. Uh, no sir. similarity. Uh, uh, Adam was created from clay, uh, clay, and God blew uh, his spirit. The similarity. So it says here in Surah chapter three, verses fifty-nine: Jesus, in the sight of God, is like Adam. So, like Adam and creation, because God created Adam and created Jesus without no father and no mother. So he's very simple. So he's like the sec. He's like Adam. I, I again, I don't, I don't agree. He's like Adam because Adam, it says here, Jesus in the sight of God is like Adam. In the sight of God, uh, in the sight of God, we are all human beings are equal. But not like Adam. But, but, we are we are all including Jesus. I mean, and I mean, Adam. like, are, don't you think it's kind of oh, 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 sorry, sorry. don't you think it's kind of weird that God would point out the fact that Jesus is like Adam and that the fact that he would would, would be born in a unique way just like Adam and no other human being was? Uh, now, now uh, I try, uh, I'm remember in the masala Adam and Allah in the masala Isa and Allah the masala Adam. Also, ma qala Allah kum fayakun. I'm trying to remind okay. myself. He needs to memorize it. Uh, 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 the example of Adam and the eyes of God, uh, uh, Jesus as Adam, because he created, but that doesn't make him uh, make him above his uh, uh, any other creation because he's a human being. And he, when I say a human being, we need to eat and uh, uh, and uh, walk and uh, go to the toilet. And, God is be, uh, be, be, be above that. Right, God right. doesn't need to eat to sustain. He's a sustainer. Okay, he has a, has a question. Please. Okay, uh, let's be more natural. You know the Quran, we know the Bible, we know the Quran, you know the Bible. Okay, let's not talk about what this book says, what that book says. Tell me your relationship with God. You said to worship the one God. Tell me. What is your relationship with God? What evidence you have that the God you worship is the real God? Okay. You want? We don't. We don't. Okay. Don't talk about what the the book says. Your personal relationship with the God you believe. Okay. Obedience. Love. This is what uh, my relation with God. I I worship God out of love and obedience and. I'm grateful for him as he create me, give me all what I have, give me uh, everything I have, uh, give not, me the soul. I, I don't try to, to say, don't prove yourself how you worship God. I'm not interested in that. Okay. I told uh, you love. Because at the end of the day, we all, we, we all try to justify ourselves. Yes, I love God, I worship God. I try to find out what God has done for your life. What is, what is the evidence that the God you represent is the real God? Maybe it's, maybe it's not real. 
Maybe it's just your fantasy. Maybe it's just your mind. You need to have evidence to prove these people that the God you believe is the real God. So what evidence do you have? Okay. Uh, in the Quran, 1400... Uh, you still not understand me. Don't tell me what the Quran says. Don't tell me scriptures. Okay? okay. okay. No tell scripture. me... Tell me what evidence your personal relationship with God, what evidence you have that the God you believe is the real God. Anybody can, can deny ever, ever anything regarding me. I love God and as he put his love in my heart, I love him. But he you're, you're, still not, you're still not answering my question, you see. Like, uh, uh, Don't you, tell me you're... what you do. I'm not interested in what you do. I'm not interested if you love God, if you don't love I, God. I'm not interested. I don't want to hear that. No, I want to no, hear no, from you. I don't give evidence about anything. No, no, listen. So if you don't have asking evidence... asking you what is the impact of God in your if life. If you don't have evidence that the God you worship is real, that means you're a liar. You're a liar. I don't, I don't have to believe you, because all what you do, okay. you're trying to justify to these people, okay. I love God, I worship only one God, but I want to know who is your God. I want to know if you want me to convert to you, okay. you tell me, I need evidence, I need evidence that you can justify that your God is real. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't ask anybody to believe me. Or to, uh, to, or ask anybody to convert to what I believe. And uh, regarding the evidence, uh, you don't want me to use a Quran or any scripture. You want me to use my own self. Okay. Uh, without any evidence, I am, I am a certain obedience of God, a God who creates everything around us. And you see, again, you still not understand. Again, you try to justify who you are. Can you I'm not interested. I'm not nowhere. interested who you are. I'm interested to know your God, what your God can have done in your life, or what your God can do for me. I, I, I want evidence for you to prove that the God you serve is the real God. I, I don't need to point out what God do for me and how I, I so you can you can o o obey him and love him. It's up to you. You want to believe, believe. My belief is I am worshipping Allah, the creator of everything. And that's it. I don't believe you. You are a liar. Okay, thank you very much. You have no evidence. You have, at the moment, you have shown me no evidence. You, you, you have not shown me any evidence. You refuse to take any evidence no, because... You, all what you do, you try to justify yourself. I'm, not, uh, I'm honest with you, I'm telling you, please repent of your sin and stop living lies. Repent of your sin and come back to Jesus and receive salvation. Amen. We have Amen. evidence, as a Christian, I have evidence that God is real. When I pray for the sick, the sick are healed. What you're saying is, what you're saying is God, the, the mighty, I'm the, talking the rest of us. I'm no, no, talking no. now. Now you offend me. You are not listening to me. I'm not listening. No, now you listen to me. So now basically what the Muslims are doing, the Muslim people, what? they don't want no, to hear no, the no, truth. No, no. Uh, or what the, they do, the they try to justify the truth themselves. The truth is the creator of all heaven and earth. Why hold the stick? He, hold on, hold on. He, choose, the stick. he choose to become three and one, father, Son and Holy Spirit, yeah. and none of them are equal. So he oh, yes, becomes so three one and God. one. One God, my brother. And you say one God. And Jesus, peace Excuse upon me. him, said, The Father is greater than the Son, greater than all. So Context. where is the Father now uh, with your Trinity? You misunderstood. I said to you. No, no, no. Uh, uh, I said to you. What you said one, to me. One to one. one, to, one I said to, one, to you. We don't what I said to you, you say you're asking about evidence, but you didn't take yes. evidence. But I and said, now, do not use now, the scripture. Now, I said, I need evidence, but do not use the scripture. Do not use the Quran. I don't use can, the Bible. Can you okay? give me your evidence without using your, yes. your Bible? Yes. Please do. I was smoking drugs, crack cocaine. Okay. I was homeless, okay. sleeping under the bridges. Okay. And the time came okay. when I just, I was tired of this life. I just want to kill myself. Okay. Because my situation, the way life it is. Somebody told me that God loves me. How can God loves me? I'm homeless. I'm a drug addict. I'm a thief. The time came when I, I said, God, if you are real, open heaven for me. If you are not real, I kill myself. So I make decision to pray as a letter for my grandfather. And when I pray in the name of Jesus, God, he touched my heart. 
I have a vision Jesus in the cross. And when I saw Jesus in the cross shedding his blood for me, I believe it. I cry unto him. I confess my sins. I ask forgiveness. I say, Lord Jesus, you are my Lord, my God. When I see Jesus, I see God. Light came out of him when he was crucified. I understood that's God. I accept him as my Lord, my Savior. After I finish prayer, after I cry out to God, after I confess my sins, after I invite Jesus into my life, I open my eyes, the heaven open for me. May I? Hold on. Okay. Second, second, since that morning, every time I pray for people, people, they receive healing. The Holy Spirit speak to me, there's a woman dying. Go pray for her. The woman, she died in the street. She have asthma, she cannot breathe. I pray for her, I say, God, you resurrect Jesus from the dead. I believe you have power to give life to this woman. And God told me, if you believe in me, speak to her, you can do it. I speak to the woman, she was dead. Raise, stand up. I see the light of God came upon her. She stood up, she was alive again. I have seen accident in Tottenham Court Road. The man was paralyzed, the bus crossed over him. I pray for this man. I say, God, you the one who healed the sick. You the one who healed the sick, who give life. Please heal this man. The man was healed. I have seen water flow upon him. I understand he was touched by God. The man is stand up. He walk, he move, and so happy. I never see happy people like that in my life. The man was so happy. I have evidence that the God I worship is real. But I'm sorry, my friend, you have shown me no evidence. I'll be, I was so patient with you, Ethan, the Pastor David was so patient with you. Please stop living lying and repent of your sin okay. and come to Jesus. Christ.